What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Blockfolio app to keep track of your cryptocurrency portfolio. So let's close this out, hop over to Blockfolio. And here is the Blockfolio app. So it sort of shows all of the cryptocurrencies that you have, how much you are holding of each, and basically it updates live all the time keeping track of the latest prices, letting you know the value of your portfolio. And you can always pull down to refresh it. So the first thing we wanna do is tap the three dots in the top right, and then let's tap on settings. And then a couple of things in here that I wanna point out. We can go to night mode, enable night mode or disable night mode. That's how you switch between the light and dark. We can also go to text size and pick the size that we want. I do the smallest just so I can fit more on the screen. Like if I go to this, you can see that it's just huge. So that's why I choose the smallest one. Up here at the top of the screen, we have a chart. This is like a graph of the value of your portfolio. You can choose between day, week, month, etc. And then there's a little newspaper icon next to that where we can get the latest news. When you first download the app, there might be nothing on here but you can scroll down to the bottom and there's this add coin icon. You can tap on that or you can tap the plus at the top of the screen. That's gonna allow you to add a currency. So right here, it will just show a list of all of the currencies. Let's just scroll through here and pick one. Let's just pick a chain. Now we'll just talk about what we're looking at. You can trade this coin against different things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, US dollars. Usually you wanna be trading against Bitcoin you can select the exchange that it's traded on. So this coin is traded on four different exchanges and these exchanges will all have a slightly different price. So depending on the exchange that you use, you'll want to pick which one you want there. Now, if you bought some of this coin, you can tap on trade price right here and you can type in the price that you bought it for. To be honest, I don't ever mess with this. I just delete this. Then I go right here and I enter the quantity. It's easier for me to just keep track of them without messing with the trade prices. If you were to sell, some of the coins that you are holding you could go to sell here type in the price you sold for enter the quantity and then that will remove it from your balance and all of that if you just want to watch this coin you haven't bought it or sold it yet but you just kind of want it in your list just tap the watch only option then hit save and we can see down here at the bottom it's added a chain to my list so that's how you would add something to your block folio if i want to tap on one it will give me tons of details about this. First of all, we have a chart. On the top right side of the screen, you'll see where it says 1W. If you tap on that, you can switch the length of time that the chart shows. So right now it's showing a week's length of time. If I wanna switch it to like one month, I can do that. I can go to like the actual trade book. So this is pulling data from Binance, like the latest trade prices. So I can look in detail here. I can set alerts for this coin. And I can view my holdings and add sort of transactions to this. So right now I own about 32 of these coins. If I were to sell like 10, I could go to add transaction, then select sell, enter the quantity that I sold, uh, change the price that I sold it at, and then hit save. And it would automatically deduct that from my holdings. Based on this trade, if I wanted to add that to my Bitcoin holdings, I can turn on this toggle because up here you can see I'm trading ELF for BTC. So if I'm selling my ELF, I'm getting more Bitcoin. So I would just want to do add to BTC holdings and then hit save. That's going to automatically calculate it all for me. I'm just going to close this out. If I no longer wanted to track the ELF coin, I could hit the trash icon in the top right. Let me go back here. So that's sort of how to manage a coin. I'm actually gonna delete a chain here because I don't want that in my list. So that's no longer on there. Another thing I can do is tap on total portfolio value in the top left. That's gonna switch to a Bitcoin value. So I have about 0.25 Bitcoin here. I can also do the same for the 24 hour change in the top right. So I can switch that to Bitcoin value, but I like to keep that on a percentage and I usually just keep this one on US dollars. You can also tap the three dots in the top right and show and do show percentage holdings. And you can also hide balances. So if the market's doing really bad, you could just do this. And it sort of takes all of that away and just shows like the percentages of what you're holding. 
And that's it, that's about all there is to the app and managing your portfolio using Blockfolio. There's no actual trading within the app that I know of. It's more just a visual and to keep track of your portfolio and what you're holding. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer those. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily videos on social media and mobile apps. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.